This is Dr. Lam, founder of DrLam.com, and today we're going to talk about a, a rather severe and uh, uh, important uh, symptom, which is shortness of breath. Now, uh, people with adrenal fatigue can sometimes present with shortness of breath despite a normal workup. In other words, they feel that they are not catching a full breath of air, especially on exertion and when under stress as well. After extensive workup for the lungs and the heart, they are given a clean bill of health. What is really going on? As far as conventional medicine is concerned, uh, there is no clear explanation and sufferers are universally sent home with no solution. Uh, sometimes they are put on um, some form of inhaler to help the breathing mechanism, but generally speaking, this doesn't really help at, uh, as well. Now, uh, we don't have exact physiological basis to know why, but what we do see is that this shortness of breath usually happens in two situations in, this, in the setting of adrenal fatigue. One is when the person is extremely nervous uh, with anxiety, and this can have uh, some shortness of breath associated, but this usually is more associated with like panic attack type symptoms where the person is breathing rapidly and the intake is shallow resulting in the buildup of carbon dioxide and therefore the shortness of breath is a vicious cycle that propagates itself. There's another possibility is that those people with advanced adrenal fatigue where they're in the catabolic state, these people tend to lose muscle mass. Now, usually by the time that this comes upon, the person is rather skinny. They not only lose muscle mass in their big muscles, such as their biceps or their triceps, but the intercostal muscles, uh, the muscles that hold the ribs together, are also decompensating. So when a person wants to take a deep breath, it does not happen because when you have wasting of the intercostal muscle, the muscle's strength uh, becomes compromised. When this happens, the rib cage cannot be expanded as it normally can. So there's a physical and the structural limitations to this breathing when this happens. So uh, this is usually presented, as I said earlier, in a person who is already somewhat cachectic, losing weight and severe fatigue, not necessarily doing a lot of exercise, mostly housebound and in advanced stages of adrenal fatigue. Normally when this happens, there's also signs of GI disturbances, gastric slowdown, uh, palpitations from the heart, uh, neurotransmitter imbalances. So we are dealing with a clinical picture that's rather serious uh, in terms of pre presenting itself in an abnormal fashion. The shortness of breath is just one of the things that kind of goes along. By itself, it is not indicative of anything because the person still can breathe. It's just like when under stress, they feel that they are very tight. Uh, if they try to take a deep breath, uh, there's some limitations. But by and large, normal breathing mechanisms in terms of oxygen saturations are still intact. But the complaint is there. So if a person has uh, this complaint of shortness of breath, and you look at the person and it's in the adrenal fatigue, fat, uh, adrenal fatigue setting, you have to really think about whether there's an issue of catabolism undergoing as well, whether there's an issue of other uh, uh, triggering uh, factors. And together, put the whole clinical picture together. And when you put the clinical picture together, you'll be able to see that it is really a, a bigger problem going on underneath. Now, the good news is that uh, usually as the adrenals recover and the muscle rebuilding and the catabolic process is reversed, then this will improve. But, nev but nevertheless, it is an important uh, symptom to recognize because uh, unresolved catabolism can lead to shortness of breath, which can then lead to many other structural problems because if the lung cannot expand, it is more prone to getting infections, etc. So you don't want to leave this unturned eh? and uninvestigated. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drlam.com where I have written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571. 
one, two, three, four for more information on adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. 